Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Flanna and I want to welcome you to the candy store. It's a special place where boys and girls can come with fun and lots of goodies. I'm about to go in right now. Come on in and I'll show you all around. Master Pendergrass. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Miss Lana. Boys and girls, do you know what a postmaster does? He gives you letters. Let's ask Postmaster Pendergrass for today's letter. Postmaster Pendergrass, could yeah. we have today's letter, please? Well, uh, sure, Miss Lana. I'll be glad to. There you go. What is this? Well, well it's what you asked for. It's your sweater. Postmaster Pendergrass, I didn't ask for a sweater, I asked for a letter. <laughs> well, well, don't slur your words there, uh, uh, sister. Oh, here you go. Thank you, that's more like it. Boys and girls, today's letter is the letter A. Postmaster Pendergrass, this what? isn't an A, this is a B. Well, well okay, here's an A. I don't know why you have to make such a big deal about a letter. Because it is a big deal. You have to have the correct letter. Why, oh why, I must ask, is it so important to have the correct letter? Because if you have the correct letter, it makes everything better. And boys and girls, today our letter is A. A stands for Abraham. Abraham was God's friend because he believed God. And boys and girls, if you believe God's word, you can be God's friend too. You're going to have to sing and move at the same time. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right on. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, move them both at the same time and let's go faster. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, all at the same time. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So, are you. so let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, faster. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Nod your head. Can you do all that at the same time? Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Nod your head. Turn around. Faster. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Nod your head, turn around, sit down. 
girls, this morning I'd like to read you a story, and it's a special story, and it's called The Big River. Would you like to hear it? Would you like to hear it? Okay. Brenda was very excited when he woke up in the morning. He had been waiting for this day for a long time. Before their winter hibernation, Papa Bear had promised to come for Brenda on the first day of summer to take him to fish in the big river on the other side of the forest. Brenda had dreamed of the big river all through the winter. He had thought about it all during the spring. He had waited a long time for this day, but he knew that it would be worth it. He bounced out of bed and he ran to his mother. Good morning, Mama, he said as he kissed her on the cheek. Good morning, Brindle, she answered. My, my, don't you seem excited. What are you up to? Mama, today is the day that Papa is coming to take me to the big river, Brindle replied. Mama Bear pretended to be surprised. Is it summer already? Yes, it is, and I'm so glad Brindle was so excited he could hardly wait for Papa Bear to come. After he finished his breakfast, he went out in front of the cave to sit and wait. Pretty soon, a big black crow came and landed on a branch near Brindle. What are you doing, little bear? asked the crow. I'm waiting for my papa to come and take me to the big river to go fishing, Brindle replied. Ha, 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 the big bird laughed. Don't be silly, little bear. There's no fish in the big river. I've flown over it before. Papa Bear said there were lots of fish in the big river. And I know Papa wouldn't lie to me. I don't believe you. Just as quickly as he came, the big bird flew away. Caw, caw, he crowed as he left. You'll see. Brenda was still waiting for his father when a big gray jackrabbit hopped up in front of the little bear's cave. What are you doing sitting here on such a nice summer day? asked the jackrabbit. I'm waiting for my papa to come and take me to the big river to go fishing, was Brindle's reply. You can't be serious, said the jackrabbit. I've been down to the big river before, and it's much too dangerous for a little cub like you. Just one false step and you could drown. Papa Bear would never let me drown, cried Brindle. If he says I'm big enough to go, then I am, he declared. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. The jackrabbit hopped off. Brindle thought to himself, I believe Papa Bear. Brindle kept on waiting. Brindle wasn't sure exactly how long he had been waiting, but he could tell by the rumbling of his tummy that it was close to lunchtime. The little cub went inside to get something to eat. As soon as he sat down with his plate of honey and berries, Big Brother Arliss came over to make fun of him. Ha, 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 Arliss screamed. Papa Bear isn't going to take a little squirt like you to the big river. He just told you he would do so so you'd quit being such a pest. He did not, cried Brindle. Papa never lies. If he said he'd come, then I believe him. Besides, Brindle added, you're just jealous. I am not, Arla stomped off. No matter what anyone said to him, Brindle was determined to believe what Papa Bear had said. He was going to wait for as long as it took. He knew his father would come for him. Sure enough, Papa Bear arrived shortly after lunch, and he took Brindle far away into the big river. You see, Brindle, it's best to catch fish just at sunset and just at sunrise, Papa explained. That's when the fish are the most active. I thought you would come and spend the night here beside the big river and fish some more in the morning. <gasps> Brindle was so excited. Could we really spend the night? We can do anything you want, Brindle. The big bear pulled a shiny trout up out of the water with his paws. Brindle jumped up and down with excitement. Oh, Papa, I'm so glad I believed you and waited for you to come and get me. Papa grinned. I am too, Brindle. I am too. Brindle was happy because he believed his father. We need to believe what our Father God tells us. Just like Abraham. Abraham believed God. A is for Abraham. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord God, I thank you. I offer this sacrifice to you in faith. Oh, Lord, you've been so good to me. I thank you for this covenant you've made with me. Praise the Lord. Oh, hi. My name's Abraham, and I have a covenant with God. You know what a covenant is? 
it's a deal. I mean, it's a good deal. You see, God made a good deal with me. He told me that if I would serve him and listen to him and follow him, that he would bless me. He said that he would give me uh, children that would be as many as the stars in the heavens and as the sand of the seashore. And I'm going to do what God says. You see, God wanted a holy people, a special people, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a special race for God, a special group of people, and I offer a sacrifice. Every now and then I just offer sacrifices and praise the Lord for this covenant he made with me. You know, this covenant's great. He says that he protects me and keeps me safe from all harm. All I had to do was give him my heart. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this covenant. Oh, all that God has belongs to me. All I had to do was give him my heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this covenant. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. You know, boys and girls, it's very important that you have friends in life. And of course, people are our best friends. We can also have friends that are animal friends. One of my best friends, the kind of animal that I like the most, are puppy dogs. I just love puppy dogs. They're so friendly and loyal, and they're warm, and they're fuzzy, and they love on you, and you can love on them. Man, puppy dogs are great friends. But you know something? There is a friend that's better than any person, any boy or girl, or even any puppy dog, and his name is Father God. Did you know Father God can be your friend? The Bible says that Father God was Abraham's friend. You know why? It's because Abraham believed God. And the way you believe God is to read his Bible and believe what he said. And whenever you do that, you're just like Abraham. You are God's friend. Eight. 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 The number. Eight. 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 The number. Eight. 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 The number. Eight. 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 Just in time for Christmas, Gospel Bill presents A Dry Gulch Christmas. Your children will enjoy celebrating this Christmas season with Gospel Bill and the Dry Gulch Gang's new Christmas album, A Dry Gulch Christmas. This beautiful Christmas album features original songs by Ken Blunt, including Christmas Every Day of the Year. The world will wait, anticipate one day. To order your copy of A Dry Gulch Christmas, call 1-800-888-7856. The cost is $10 for two cassettes and $13.95 for compact discs. Don't let this one pass you by. Order your copy of A Dry Gulch Christmas today. Let's take a look at one of the largest members of the reptile family, 
the alligator. The American alligator is found in the swampy coastal areas of the United States, from eastern Texas all the way to Florida. He grows to be 500 pounds and can live as long as 30 years. Although alligators and crocodiles are much alike, there is a difference. The alligator has a wide snout, while his crocodile cousin has a long, narrow snout. Alligators are very dangerous creatures, and they must be treated with extra caution. They have many sharp teeth in a mouth with powerful jaws. If an alligator's mouth is open, his powerful jaws can crush almost anything in their bite. But if the gator's mouth is closed, you can hold it together with your hand. You see, all of his strength is set to close and not to open his mouth. Alligators eat ducks, muskrats, deer, and even cattle. A grown alligator can knock a man to the ground with one swing from his powerful tail. And that's why they're so dangerous. Once an alligator bites his prey, he goes quickly under the water to drown it. He can stay underwater from two to five hours. Wow, that's a long time to hold your breath. The Bible tells us that the devil is like a dragon. And in Bible days, dragons were really crocodiles and alligators. When Jesus was raised from the dead, he gave us victory over that old dragon, the devil. We who have Jesus inside us have power over the devil and over all his works of death and destruction. So, when I see an alligator, it reminds me of the authority that Jesus gave me over the devil and all his works. So long, Mr. Alligator. See you later. Oh, I've almost got it. Oh, oh flitter sticks. The number seven. What is it, Lefty? What are you doing? I dropped my numbers down this well. Oh, no, not your numbers. And I can't get them all. I've got two fives. I've got two sevens. But I've lost my number eight. Your number eight? You've got to find your number eight. I I'll help you. Th th I think I see it. Oh, oh, Wait, is that it? Oh, watch it. To oh, the left. Oh, to the oh, left. Oh, oh. You got it. Look. You've got look, it. Look, look. The number eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 on the M-I-C and I'm rapping bold about G-O-D. When I say the memory verse, be sure and say it back. Let's give the devil a word attack. Say Hebrews 11, 6. Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it's impossible. Without faith, it's impossible. To please God. To please God. Come on now, Hebrews 11, 6. Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it's impossible! Without faith, it's impossible! To please 
sit up real straight and tall, be real quiet. I want to tell you about something real special. How many of you boys and girls have friends? Do you know friends are very special? And everybody needs good friends. Now, I got some friends over here, and these are pretty good friends. This one's called a duck, and ducks go quack, 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 quack. How many think a duck could be a pretty good friend? It'd be pretty good, but you know a duck can't talk to you. And yeah. Duck has to be in the water. How many of you would like to live in the water? I don't know. That wouldn't be very good, so let's not, let's not use the duck. Well, a frog, I guess, could be a pretty good friend. You know, frogs, they say, ribbit, ribbit, and they're slimy, and I don't know if a frog would be a very good friend because, you know, a frog, you'd have to go, the frogs live in the mud, and not, how many would you, of you would like to live in the mud? Well, some of you would, but I don't know. Maybe a, I know, I know a chicken would be a good friend. That would be a great friend because you wouldn't have to go to the store and buy eggs. You could just get your chicken to help you buy eggs. cock a doo -doo! <laughs> But I don't, I don't know. Wait a minute. A chicken wouldn't be a good friend because they'd get feathers all over the house and, well, they'd be okay, I guess, but... I know, I know, I know a good friend would be a puppy dog. Puppy dog would be a good friend. Well, don't you think that'd be a good friend? Yeah. They are good. You know, they're furry and they got a cold nose. I'm putting my cold nose on you. Is that cold? No. Well, the puppy dogs are good friends, but the puppy dogs can't talk to you. Well, maybe there's, I know, old oh, boys and girls always like this for a friend. This is called a teddy bear. How many of you have a teddy bear here in my class? A lot of you do. My, I, I know this little girl, and she's got a bunch of teddy bears. And she's had teddy bears since she was a little bitty, and now they're all over her room. She's got big fat teddy bears, little bitty skinny teddy bears, and she sleeps with teddy bears every night. And they're good friends, but teddy bears can't talk. And, you know, I want to tell you about a very good friend. This is the best possible friend that you could have. And his name is Jesus. Do you know Jesus wants to be your friend? Somebody says, Jesus is way up in the sky. Jesus wants to come live in your heart. And Jesus, the Bible says, is the best friend you could have. And you know how you can be Jesus' friend? There's one thing you have to do. Hebrews 11, 6 says, Without faith it's impossible to please God. But when you believe in God's Word and Jesus comes to live in your heart, then you become His friend. And then He stays there and lives in you forever and ever and ever. Now, I want to ask you a question. Is there anybody here that you'd lift your hand in my classroom? Maybe you're watching today and you'd say, I have Jesus in my heart and He is my friend. Would you raise your hand up? Raise up real high and put it down. The Bible says there was a man named Abraham. And God was his friend because he believed God. Is there anybody here that you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart, but you'd like to do that? Raise your hand up. Now put them down. We're going to say a very special prayer right now. I want everybody to be real still and quiet, and I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to say this prayer with me. And if you mean it with all your heart, God's going to become your friend. Are you ready? Here we go. Everybody say, Father God, I believe that Jesus is your son. And I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart. Come live inside me. I believe your word. I believe you died for my sin. And I receive you now. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I want to ask a question. Is there anybody here that you prayed that prayer with me? Maybe you prayed that prayer with me out there. Do you know what? If you did, then you just got the best friend in the whole world. Better than a teddy bear. Better than a puppy dog. It's better than any person. This is a friend that will never let you down. His name is Jesus. And he's going to be with you forever and ever and ever. History is being rewritten. The legend of Gospel Bill has begun anew. Meet Bill Gunner, U.S. Marshal.
Journey back to the Old West with Bill Gunter, U.S. Marshal. Each month, you can receive one all-new action-packed adventure direct to your home. Join Bill Gunter, Nicodemus, Miss Lana, and the entire town of Dry Gulch as they encounter the meanest outlaws to ever roam the West. Watch as they learn to overcome the forces of evil with the Word of God. The Bill Gunter Video Club comes direct to your home each month for only $12.95. The entire family will enjoy each 30-minute episode, complete with drama, contests, music videos, and a special message from Marshal Bill Gunter. Join the Bill Gunter Video Club today. Don't miss a single exciting episode. To join, call 1-800-888-7856. Boys and girls, I am so glad you joined us here at the candy store today. And now it's time to turn our letter A back into Postmaster Pendergrass. Here you go, Postmaster Pendergrass. Oh, well, well thank you, Miss Lana. You're welcome. Well, would you like a sweater? Uh, no. How about a windbreaker? Uh, no. Uh, an overcoat? No. It's time to close the show. How about a parka? No. Would you like a ski jacket? No, it's time to say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye, boys and girls.